There we go. Look at all these. Oh my gosh. Hello and welcome back everybody and or anybody. Or if you're new to the channel, my name's Christian and this is Make Time for Fishing. It's about an hour before the low tide and I'm in a creek that I fished for the very first time yesterday. And I'm also not in my regular kayak. Um, the spot that I'm fishing, there's definitely not an accessible boat ramp uh, or kayak launch or anything of the sort. My big 100 pound pedal drive kayak is not so uh, carry over your head friendly. Uh, it's a little too heavy for me, so I have my old Walmart special kayak with me. It's a lifetime Tamarack, if you're wondering. So I came out to this uh, creek I'm about to fish uh, yesterday for the first time, um, about this exact same point in the tide, and I found huge schools of reds absolutely everywhere. Uh, it was a crazy, crazy day. Um, I only came out for about two hours after work, and uh, I'm very excited to be more prepared and actually have my camera gear with me today. But uh, enough talking about it. I'm gonna hope that they're still here today. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy. Man, this current is ripping out. This water is gonna empty out very quickly. Get out on this sandbar here. Stretch my legs. That looks like it could be one. There we go. He's scaring everybody. That's a pretty good one. Oh, this is a very good one. Let's bring him back down to my kayak so maybe he doesn't scare all of his friends. Come on, buddy. Let me land you. Get you right back. Wow, this first one's starting out strong. It's a good fish. Come on, buddy. Oh, man. That's a lot bigger than I thought he was going to be. <laughs> it's a big, big bruiser. <laughs> Look at that fish drumming away. Ooh, just touches 30 with the tail pinched. First run of the day is a 30. All right, let's check that line. Doesn't feel chafed. Let's give it another cast in there. See if there's anyone else. Let's try creeping up. Oh yeah, see that? Is that a flounder? That was a flounder right there on the edge. Wow. Another nice one. Clobbered that. This is a really, another really great fish.
get him up here. Come on. Ah, this guy's a little stubbier. Wow, he's really tall. <laughs> Look how stubby that guy is. Probably weighs as much as a 30-incher, but it's 26. That didn't take very long. Got another one on the paddle tail there from land. This is pretty fun. Really shallow creek bending around here. I'm not going to talk about it very long because I want to get this guy back, but oh, some big fish in there. Still coming up on low. Since I already got two nice ones on uh, this paddle tail, which is an eighth of an ounce, so it's all so messed up after those fish. Uh, an eighth of an ounce uh, eye strike uh, trout eye jig and a three and a half inch diesel minnow, or sorry, just minnows. I'm gonna try a new bait I don't think I've ever caught a fish on called the slick. It's rigged weightless, weedless. You're supposed to be able to walk it subsurface, kind of like a walk the dog. So you might get a topwater eat. It's a lot of different stuff, but uh, these fish are eating so well right now, I just want to see. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, it's like a soft plastic top water. Be so cool if I can get someone to take it. Another really nice one. A little smaller than the last two. Still a really great fish. All right, had to re rig my little slick there. Let's try slowing this down, maybe bouncing it off the bottom a little bit. Yep. That didn't take long. This is a smaller one though, I think. Yeah. Much smaller. Still not bad. <laughs> Come here, buddy. I'm trying to Get rid of you. Still would be good on any other day. <laughs> Man, they are just stacked up in here. I've seen some really big ones. Nice and slow. Oh. Very next cast. Another small one, I think. Mm. Yeah. Slick is working. This is a cool lure. Not a great release, but that's okay. And for those of you who uh, will inevitably ask what my setup is here, in terms of uh, rod, reel, and line, I have... Toadfish, seven foot four, medium light. It's super fun for throwing these light lures like this. You can launch them a mile. 2,500 spinning reel from Toadfish as well. Split up a 10 pound braid. Ooh, there's a big tailor up there. I think I wanna, oh, man, I probably spooked him with this. I'm gonna hop across to this next sandbar. I see some really big ones up there. But I don't spook them getting over there. Oh my gosh. A lot of these are mullet. Right there. 
just went right in front of his face. He wanted nothing to do with it. Okay, I know what to do. We'll Ned rig him, which is so tiny. It's just a little shrimp imitation. Might help me get a couple. Only problem is the rod is super light. So if I hook one of these big ones, I'm gonna be fighting them for a minute here. First cast. First cast. Look at all these. Dang it. Did not want to scare them off. <laughs> that spooked the entire school. I had no idea there was that many of them there. I wish I brought my um, fly rod. Look at that guy. There's so little water here. Come on, buddy. Let me just land you. I'll get you right back. Oh, he's bigger than I realized. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Quick release. Got a hand on him at least. Hook popped out. It's so small. Whew. That's exciting. Let's see if there's anyone else willing to eat in there after all that commotion. Man, I didn't realize how shallow it would have got. I'm gonna walk. So yeah. Redfish are eating a lot of shrimp right now, if you'll believe that. All right, I'm gonna start throwing the uh, paddle tail and the eighth ounce jig on uh, my light rod here. You can throw it a mile, and it'll allow me to cover ground quicker. Say it's probably about an hour till sunset, so I probably need to be heading back in in 30, 45 minutes. And I'd like to get some more fish. It's been a little bit quiet since um, dead low. I spooked that big school. I don't think this is big. No. Little guy. But broke the wall. Pretty little one. Thank you, buddy. I think it's another little guy. That's probably all she wrote for now. Um, tide's starting to get a little bit high and that sun is starting to set. And uh, I got a good mile-ish to get back. Um, good thing is once I get out of this creek, I'll be going with the current uh, the rest of the way. But I hope y'all enjoyed that. That was really fun. Uh, exactly the kind of action I was hoping for. I uh, would have loved if I could have kept the bite going, but that bite right around low tide was pretty awesome. I uh, got some big reds. Um, was pretty cool getting them from a sandbar like that. So I don't know how much of it was actually kayak fishing. It was like kayaking and fishing. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe if you did enjoy the video and you haven't already. But remember to make some time for fishing, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.